Ralph is a collector. He drives all over southern Ohio collecting what he collects. His collection, bricks. It's kind of salvaging a little bit of history. He lives and works in Nelsonville, a town that at one time was the paver capital of Ohio. And driving the streets, you can clearly sense why. Bricks represent a great deal of what built America and built the roads and the highway system. There are brick streets here, of course, and brick alleys, sidewalks, and buildings. Nelsonville, uh, there's, we're talking millions. This is his collection behind his property in town. I've got thousands. Plain bricks, pattern bricks, bricks with words, glazed bricks, ones with holes in them. Any brick he can get his hands on will do. He knows his bricks. Arch is an older block. Heavy bricks are not the easiest item to collect, but he says his back is holding up just fine. It's got its bad days and it's the good days. He also knows where to find them and keeps some of those locations very secret. When he's not scouting bricks, he finds time to talk about bricks with his buddy Ed at the old brick kilns just outside of town. This is the blue collar of the blue collars, you know. Back at his property, his close friend Scott is in charge of cleaning the bricks he hauls in. And there's a process for that. A special tapper, a scraper. The bricks are slowly disappearing. Most of the streets have been resurfaced. But Ralph knows there's still bricks underneath. An obsession he says he loves. It's kind of one of those things that gets in your blood. Ralph works as a paramedic here, saving the citizens of Nelsonville and saving this town one brick at a time. Every brick has its own character. In Nelsonville, I'm Andrew Banks, NBC4.